Uh, Shalom, I'll give all praise unto you. Abashi Mel Shabashi Makoha Kodash. Double honors unto the Apostles of Great Millstone. And honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity for the four corners of the earth. This is going to be a video going into the current state of entertainment. And more specifically, the company that you know as Disney, which is a very demonic company. And that's part of the witchcraft, as we're going to see within the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter. This is part of the enchantments that go without throughout the four corners of the earth. Another scripture that we're going to get is the book of Jeremiah, the 51st chapter. Now, what is clear to see is that the entertainment is being turned against our children, of which you brothers out there that got children, you got to watch what your children watch. You got to watch what your children watch. I don't have children uh, right now. Um, I mean, we'll see what the Lord does. You know, I'm not, you know, this ain't really a time. You go out there to try and make a family. But if it was me, then I would vet a TV program out first. I would watch the entirety of a series first before before I make a decision to say whether it's acceptable for the children to watch. Because children are very impressionable. So is society at large. And they use the media to condition people into accepting particular ideas. Of which one of the main ideas that you see out here being pushed is the rainbow agenda. Now I'm going to use... Uh, Lord's will YouTube friendly terminology but as you can see from the search that I put out here you can see that they've released a, a TV program here which from my understanding was like a remake or a reboot of this franchise and they've twisted the characters to be as you can see here of a rainbow persuasion now this is supposed to be a family friendly company and the root of a family is a mother and a and a father, and it seems that they've 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 gone against that. Now, what's interesting, and this goes to show you that it's all a linked up part of the agenda. The main thing that it was pushing as part of the BLM movement was the destruction of the patriarchal or nuclear family, especially that of the Negro, Hispanic, and Native American family. So, when they can get the kids and they can get the the, the father at the house, there is not they ain't, they ain't gonna be people ain't gonna be fruitful and multiplying. This is the end goal. This is the end goal. When you read the Georgia Guidestones, they don't want people within the earth, man. Just did a video a second ago dealing with the food side of things. The food side of the game. When you read when you really understand what these elites are doing, and they're kind of really being successful in it now. As for Jake, the more we get oppressed, the more we multiply. And I would I would I would venture to say, at least from us from the from the brothers that are waking up into the truth, the more they have oppressed Jake in the world the more jake has um got into the word especially with this kanye west thing the more they oppress this guy him and, and him and carry which i think is kind of spiritual that I, you know one's a gadite representing the latin speaking tribes and one's a judite representing judah benjamin and levi i kind of think that's spiritual that they kind of went out there and at the, you know we know it's all orchestrated but they kind of went out there at the same time and and they, and they did the thing of and the most i created them for one job and one job only to put the truth in the mainstream Meaning to say we're really at the end of this thing. Doth not the scriptures say that in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter on the 14th verse, that the end wasn't going to come until the word goes out there throughout the four corners of the earth. People are going to ask questions. They're going to find out Kanye West is a bug out. But by asking the questions, they're going to be pointed into the truth. Of which part of the truth is understanding what is acceptable for a man and a woman to do. What is not acceptable for a man and a woman to do. Hence the reason why the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are in hardcore captivity right now. Because we we delighted in that which was grievous unto the Lord. We did we, we participated in these acts that you see here, and the Most High jacked us jacked us up. Did doth not the scripture say, Therefore the Most High gave them over unto their own lust, working that which is unseemly? And this is what Esau's trying to push onto the people. To the people that accept this, they're gonna get the wapples apple. But as for you brothers out there that got families and that, you gotta watch what your children watch. You know, you have the, the the tablet, which the tablet's like a like a blessing on the demon at the same time. But you have the tablet, you put the kids in the back and they got the tablet, and they got the Disney Disney um Disney app, and you're thinking they're watching sensible TV programming. No, 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 no. What they got right now ain't family programming. They got family destruction programming. Hence the reason why they got this TV program out there, which the main characters <coughs> are off a uh, of a rainbow agenda and and as as far as i understand the franchise that weren't meant to be the case now i'm going to speak on stuff that i don't necessarily know as concerning this tv program but i just watched the review on it and the, the, the guy was saying within the tv program 
They got an ancient style wedding or rather more an engagement party with a male character and a female character. But a female character is dancing with another woman in a sexual manner as an act of rebellion and everybody's just staring at her. I'm like, yo, is that's 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 child, child you know, family friendly programming? No, it's family destruction program. The same thing that they had with the strange world thing. Right? The strange world that they had. And you know what strange world that they're speaking about. Okay, so you gotta watch what your children watch. Go into these scriptures. Let's go into these scriptures. Oh man. I'm not supposed to do that. Okay. I didn't think anything it was sensitive there. Right, so let's go to um, scriptures I want. So let's go to the book of Isaiah. No, Jeremiah first. The 51st chapter. And these, all of these acts that you see out here, these are all, these are all uh, fulfillment of the scripture. So this is the book of Jeremiah, the 51st chapter. And the 7th verse, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. And he's made all the early nations drunk with the wine thereof. So when you see all of this mental programming, the TV programming, and you get your children acclimatized to this, this is because Babylon is a golden cup in the Lord's hand, and they have made all the earth drinking. Suddenly, uh, it's fallen and destroyed. Half of her take balm for her, she, so that she may be healed. But she, she's made all of these nations drunken, man. That's why everybody out here is going crazy, because they're into weirdo philosophies. And these are philosophies, man. There is an agenda be, be behind all of these kind of things. Um... Isaiah 47 and 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Thy shame shall be seen. I'll take vengeance. I'll not meet the others as a man. So a lot of this stuff is being exposed. The same thing with the Balenciaga thing. That's being exposed. Esau, and really Esau's kind of exposing himself because he, he's such a weirdo. He will, he will expose himself. So you get acclimatized to his weirdoness. It's the kind of guy this guy is, man. He's a real weirdo. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. Let's continue down. Um, 12 stand now with an enchantment of which the tv is like a that's like a that's like satan's altar i believe somebody said that's satan's altar you really gotta one you gotta watch what you watch you gotta watch what you watch okay you gotta watch what you watch as a brother within this truth you, you gotta be really careful of what you you know what you deem as acceptable entertainment because you're programming your brain for particular behaviors reactions and um dispositions when you spend 20, 30 minutes watching a, 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 a program and it's anti-life, your behavior is going to be skewed. I'm not saying ultimately, you know, because we're, you know, laws will be off the elect, but you're going to have behavior that's of a two-thirds uh, disposition. You got to watch what you watch, man. You got to watch what you watch. Okay? More so your children too. Because these are enchantments that are coming up against us. Lisa puts a lot of sorcery within these TV programs. Why do you think when you switch on the TV around about this time of the year, there's always the Christmas thing? Advertisement costs money, man. Advertisements cost millions of pounds. And you're telling me they got to remind me it's Christmas every year. Come on, man. There's an agenda here. You're telling me they put millions and millions and millions of dollars into making, creating a TV program, which they switched up the, the, the traditional characters with the rainbow characters. And, they, and, you know, obviously they made the calculation of how much money they was going to make back. And they said, no, nah, put it out there. They got the term, go what, go broke. You think these these accountants working within these firms are, are not saying, yo, this, this ain't going to make no money. Of course they ain't going to make no money. That's not the point. The point is to put out them enchantments to the end that Jake is going to be destroyed. Got to watch what you watch. Stand out there, stand now with that enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou was labored from thy youth. If so, they may be able to profit thee. So that, that encompasses a lot of a lot of things. But Esau's got all kind of witchcraft that's being pushed out here, man. You gotta be careful what you ingest and you gotta be careful what you allow your children to ingest. So pretty much that's the video, man. Hopefully it was a verification. But I'm gonna say oh praise the Abba Shimon Shaiba Shimon Kaha Kodash. Uh double honors unto the apostles, a great millstone. And also brothers to be pushing these truth in sincerity. Shalom.